I'm so excited that you're here today. Can you tell me a little bit about who you are, what you do, what is your passion? Yeah, well, I'm Dr. Dan Pompa, and my passion is fixing the cell to get people well, you know, and that all came out of my own story, and that's what I teach. You know, I, I read a study, it was saying that type two diabetes, they believe that 30 to 35% of it's toxin related. Mm. And then when you add the autoimmune, it, the toxin's ability to turn on a gene, it could be up to 80%. Wow. So when we look at the real reason why people have what I like to term weight loss resistance, meaning you've changed your diet. Maybe you can't stick to a diet. None of that's your fault because it's a hormonal issue. I, you know, I just seem like I can't stay on a diet. That's a hormonal problem. Mm -hmm. It seems like I am on the perfect diet. I eat better than my friends and I still am, you know, can't lose weight despite all my exercise, the perfect diet. That's a hormonal problem, but it's a hormonal problem driven by toxins. So to go back to when I did the receptor of the hormone on a cell, mm -hmm. if the hormones aren't able to get their message in the cell, you're not losing weight. Thyroid hormone. L let me just use that as a, an all example for people because it's such an epidemic. People have thyroid issues and their blood work's normal. By the time their blood work is off, 20 years with the problem. So just imagine, wow. T4 is typically the hormone doctors give for, you know, whether it's thyroxin, synthroid, and T4 needs to be converted to an active form called T3. And that's the one that gets in the cell and makes you feel good, right? Makes you burn fat as energy, mm -hmm. you know, stay lean, all that, brain works great. Unfortunately, a lot of people can't make the conversion from T4 to T3. Well, look what, convert, uh, what, look what interferes there. Toxic liver, you don't convert well. Toxins like mercury can bind up selenium. You need selenium to make that conversion. So there's many th ways toxin interferes. Oh, and here's how it interferes too. It affects the pituitary. I said that the mercury right. accumulates in the pituitary that controls the thyroid that makes the T4. So toxins can affect it here. Toxins can affect the conversion. And one more, I said that here's the membrane of the cell, right? Toxins make their way and attach to the membrane and the receptor, blunt the receptor via inflammation. Now the T3, even if you convert it, can't get its message in the cell. <laughs> so you see multiple ways, that's one hormone. Mm. I could talk about leptin. Leptin's a hormone that We've tells you about, right, right. not to eat and it yeah. helps you be a fat burner. Leptin has to ha attach to the same receptors in your hypothalamus, right? So if leptin can't get its message in because of toxins driving, and we know toxins have an affinity for these leptin receptors. It's not going to work. Interesting. So I could talk about estrogen. I could talk about testosterone. I could. So the point is, is so many places along the hormone pathway is where toxins interfere. So the reason people can't lose weight now, it's a hormone issue. And I, most people intuitively know that, by the way, but it's a hormone issue being driven by a toxic upstream problem. Thank you so much for sharing all of this fascinating information. And I think for each and every one of us that's, that's heard your interview, we can apply immediately. Learn and apply and try and see how it works.